enumerate some of the points which uh, which are very very essential for the healthy cell production of potato. As you know, the potato plant is very sensitive to ecological factor such as temperature, then for photo period and re uh, relative humidity. So, what will be the actually optimum temperature in night for the pre tiver initiation phase? That will be the 15 to 20 degrees Celsius and post tiverization phase 15 degrees Celsius. Then the application of farmer manure should be done. And if there is a, if there is alkaline soil of alkaline with uh, soil and pH is more than 8.5 and conducti conductivity is less than one millimoles per square centimeter to make it suitable for potatoes production. Next, pre-sprouting. So before going to sow the paper you have to make you have to leave the potato for sprouting pre sprouting of seed timber before planting crop is very essential it ensure multiple start and healthy sprouts it helps in quick emergence and uniform stand and early maturity of the crop it also facilitates higher multiplication rate and more number of tubers and large production of seed, side tuber and pre-sprouting. So pre-sprouting is very necessary. So when, uh, when uh, which type of tuber we should use? Seed should be taken out from the cold storage before uh, cold storage 10 to 15 days before planting in the plant. So before planting at least 10 to 15 days from the cold test storage potato should be removed so that the sprouting will take place. The time of planting for seed crop in the plant varies with the agroclimatic condition of the region. Uh, such as the optimum time of planting for western central and eastern Indo-Gangetic plants is the first week of October and second to third week of the October and last week of October to first week of November respectively. So in western central region the time will be first week of October and, and second to third week of the October and last week of October to first week of November for the Gangetic, eastern indo gangetic plant. In the plan, optimum yield of seed potato can be obtained if you do manuring or uh, uh, green manuring by Sunham, that is Protolaria gentia, or Dheja, that is Sespania equilator. The Dheja crop usually, uh, the Dheja crop is sown and it is harvested. If it is harvested at the age of 40 to 50 days, then it adds 250 to 300 quintal of green biomass and which give, which, which gives the nitrogen near about 50 kg of nitrogen uh, to the soil and a lot of biomass which resulted in the increase of organic carbon content and increase of the uh, microbial population in the field. If green manure is not done, then you have to apply 200 to 250 quintals of FIM per hectare to improve the fertility and physical condition of the soil. Nitrogen, phosphorus and potash requirement should be based on the soil of the field. So it is very necessary if, uh, if you are going to, uh, uh, if you are going to do for the uh, potato seed production, then either you have to apply it HR or FIM. In general, a basal dose of 75 kg nitrogen, 60 to 80 kg phosphorus, and 100 to 120 kg potash per hectare may be applied at planting time. 
Traditionally, seed of relatively a small size, that means 20 to 30 grams, is used for the planting both in the hills and plain because of its better keeping quality. Delayed, delayed sprouting in ordinary stores and lower seed rate. It has been observed that planting of 40 grams tuber at 50 to at 50 plant to plant or row to row and 20 centimeter between tubers to tuber is advisable. It has been also found that it um, so a spacing of 40 grams size of seed tuber at 50 into 20 centimeter spacing give the best seed production. Seed crop of potato can be planted with the tractor, drawn potato planter or implement for all the operation. That is opening for us, application of fertilizer, placement of tuber, raising and spray of insecticide. Insecticide. Another method is that the first these are for and after application of fertilizer or insecticide, then tubers are deep with the Kurpa, uh, uh, kurpa 5 to 5 to 7 centimeter deep in the raise manually. So care should be taken that the tuber should not come in direct contact with the fertilizer. Tuber never come with the contact of the fertilizer and should remain 4 to 5 centimeter above or side of the fertilizer. Intercultural operation and bidding should commence at about 20 to 50 days after planting when plants attain at the height attain the height of 10 to 15 centimeter so um, a weed uh, a weed compete for moisture and nutrient so it is very essential to remove the weed with the potato crop mainly at two times during potato cultivation first before earthing up and second towards the maturity and harvesting of the crops. Timely weed control either chemically or manually is very very essential otherwise potato yield will be adversely affected. During early stage of growth potato plant weeds may be controlled. Uh, we can control by spraying of peracuate, dichloride or gramexon tratum. At the rate of 2.5 kg active ingredient per hectare dissolved in 100 liter of water at about when 5% of the emergence of the plants will take place then it should be applied. After that it should not be applied. So it is uh, it should be uh, taken into consideration that when 5% of the emergence of the plant will take place, then it should be applied. After that, it should not be applied. Otherwise, it will adversely affect the plant population. Then another we decide send for or metribuzin at the rate of 1 kg per hectare as a pre-emergence are very effective herbicide to control the weeds in the potato feed. In the plant, potato are grown in winter season when seasonal rainfall is not sufficient to the entire water requirement. So, it is very necessary to give frequent and light irrigation to potato crop at low moisture tension. Except in the river bed cultivation in Gujarat is essential for the raising a successful seed crop. So, frequent and light irrigation is very necessary if there is a low, ten low moisture tension. Water stress after planting delays emergence whereas water stress after emergence reduces the internodal length of the stem and size of the leaflet. Tiber initiation state is so uh, uh, I may ask a uh, question from you that what is the critical stress of the tobacco uh, of the uh, potato then the tiber initiation stage is one of the most important critical stage of for the water stress for the potato. So, ever in a session a stage is the most critical stage where there should be no any water stress or moisture condition should be prevailed. So, ever in a session a stage irrigation you have to you have to apply the water at 
Whoever is in essential state, this state should not be uh, uh, should not be witness any type of moisture stress. Otherwise, number and yield will be drastically reduced. Effit. Effit uh, major subparasiki is the most important effit which, uh, which is a virus factor for potato crop. Among potato viruses, leaf roll virus Y are very serious as due to uh, their infection, tiber is Tiber it is reported to be reduced by 20 to 80 percent. So it is very necessary to control the effect. Otherwise, virus infection will take place, which, which will be resulted the disease of leaf roll and virus yellow moisture, and which, uh, which will result the loss of the yield up to 20 to 80 percent. The yield of plant infected with the contagious viruses that is Y, A and M and leaf roll is reduced by 10 to 15 percent, 50 to 70 percent and 60 to 70 percent respectively. So it is very necessary to control the effects. In the plane 3 field infection for uh, of rogging of moisture, leaf roll and off time plants are recommended. So three field inspection in plants is very necessary uh, if there is any moisture or leaf roll or off time plant then it should be removed the first inspection and rogging should be done after emergence of the plants and before earthing up second at 40 to 50 days after planting and third just after and third just after dehalving to ensure better seed quality. So what is dehalming? Dehalming means removal of the vegetative part or above the ground part of the plants. Then the application of forehead 10 g at the rate of 10 kg per hectare should be applied at the planting to control jessids leaf hopper and white flies in order to check the spread of vector transmitted viruses. An additional quantity of forehead 10 g at the rate of 7.5 kg per hectare should be applied at the time of earthing up to prevent the infection of a feed vector. For early blight and late blight, it is better if one prof had Prophylactic spray with dithane M45 at the rate of 2 kg per hectare is given. And this should be repeated at the interval of 10 to 14 days depending, of the, depending upon the weather condition. Harvesting may be done either by a tractor or block ground digger or manually with the help of a spade or a Harvesting of seed crop in the endogangetic plants should be completed by 5th of February and should not be delayed beyond the end of February to avoid tuber rotting due to soft rot or charcoal rot. Harvesting in the plants should be undertaken 10 to 15 days in the hills and 15 to 20 days after dehalming when skin is hard enough to withstand handling operation. After harvesting, potato tuber are required to be kept in hips for about 15 days for curing of skin and shedding of soil. For better return in the market for potato seeds, adjust seed rate according to size during planting, proper grading is essential. So it is very essential to grade the uh, potato as per their size and Weight. Grading of potato tuber in 4 grade, very small, below 25, um, below 25 grams uh, of size 25 mm, medium size 20 to 60 grams, size uh, 25 to 30 mm, large, uh, large 60 to 100 grams and size 35 to 50 mm and extra 100 grams above 50 mm tubers are important. So grading uh, should must be done to get maximum price in the market. Treated tubers should be dried in seed. Seed potato are packed in gunny bag of 80 kg 
which in the western and central plain whereas in 50 kg in the eastern areas of the eastern area that means in jharkhand in west bengal assam it should be the size of the bag should be 50 kg the temperature in the cold should be maintained at 2 to 4 degrees celsius so in cold storage what should be the temperature 2 to 4 degrees celsius the yield of seed crop ranges from 200 to 250 quintals per hectare depending upon the duration of the crop. Delay the harm cutting by spring the crop with, with insecticide to control if it has been found to adversely affect the quality of seed. So, harming a cutting, cutting of the hull should not be delayed. Hulls that means foliage that means above the ground part of the seed crop should be cut close from the ground at fixed date for a region in the month of January or when aphid level reaches 3 to 5 aphids per 100 compound leaves. So when you will when you will see that the aphid population is 3 to 5 per 100 compound leaves then tea halving should be done. Increase in the tea bar number of all grades. The crop with the halving done 80 days after planting increases the potato yields of the ground of the all grade. So you can see the importance of the de halving of the potato. This higher yield might be attributed to the continuous translocation of the photosynthetic from the top of the tuber over a longer period of time, which increases the size as well as number of tuber. This led to the suggestion that removal of arms could be delayed advantageously to maintain yield and health standard of seed, seed crop. So uh, another one is uh, another uh, uh, research has been uh, done by the Chaube and Singh adopted a three method of dehalming, halms cutting, halms pulling and paracuate spray and found that all cooling method was effective in reducing the virus incidence without affecting the aid where the all cutting method provide reasonable chance to mechanically infect the healthy plants and also throw vectors. So best thing is that hand pulling, a hall pulling, a dehalming by hall pulling. So this is all about the potato crop and then the reference book uh, it is better to consult the book uh, if you have or if you can get from any source then the reference book uh, uh, you uh, you all student need to uh, <coughs> need to contact is the textbook uh, the title name film cross production that is commercial crops, fill production, commercial crop, volume 2 by Dr. Rajinder Prasad. In that, it has been published in ICR New Delhi. It is very, very, um, very nice book. Uh, and very, uh, and in this book, the all commercial crop has been given widely, uh, very, um, in very good, uh, you will find the very good material in this reference book. All type of cultivation practices, uh, then varieties, then uh, weed control, everything you will find in uh, in the book uh, written by Dr. Rajinder Prasad. So it is required to consult this book. This is all about the potato crop. In next class, I will take the uh, i will take i will take up a sugar cane so thank you very much okay bye